The medical missionary work taught by Jesus Christ. We need the Holy Spirit. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness among the people. Matthew 4 verse 23 The twelve disciples watched and learned the gospel medical ministry method directly from Jesus for three and a half years. However, after Jesus was nailed to the cross, they all split. Why did they do that? Did Jesus teach them incorrectly? No. Then why did the disciples fail to go forward with the ministry that he taught them? What was the problem? Attending a course and being education for a set period of time is not enough to become a medical missionary. It is also dangerous to think that one is a medical missionary merely because he treats patients with natural treatments. Medical missionary work is preaching the message of Jesus Christ, the healer of sinners who are dying in their sins, so that they can receive Jesus as their Savior. It constitutes teaching them to obey God's moral and natural law. The most important thing in medical missionary work is to follow Jesus' example, and that example shows that we have to experience the righteousness by faith that Jesus had, as our own righteousness. This can only be done through the working of the Holy Spirit, and only when we become born again by the Holy Spirit. This is why Jesus promised that he will send the Holy Spirit to the disciples. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts 1 verse 8 the disciples, who had been taught by Jesus Christ, needed the power of the Holy Spirit, which he had promised to send. They believed the promise, so they consecrated themselves through prayer and waited in order to receive the Holy Spirit. From the book of Acts, we know what kind of work was carried out when the Holy Spirit was given to them. This is the same work to be done by the servants of God, those who take the three angels' messages to the world when the promised latter rain, which is more glorious than the early rain, will be poured out. Just as the disciples prayed and prepared for the early rain, so the workers who are commissioned to share the three angels' messages must pray and be prepared to receive the promised latter rain. This is the final work that needs to be done through righteousness by faith in Jesus Christ.